Hey, how's it going? This is Whitticus here, and I've got PS4 here, so I'm going to be doing my very first unboxing, and I'm quite excited. Whenever I walked into the store today, I was a bit surprised because this is a really tiny box compared to like what you got with the PlayStation 3. And I only know that because that's a PlayStation 3 box. So. I mean, this is kind of funny looking back at this now where you have the um, 60 gigabytes of hard drive and the Wi-Fi was a commodity at this time. I mean, they gave you component cables, but they never gave you an HDMI cable. But then you're up to here, um, what, seven years later, you get 500 gigs of memory, you get freaking touch-sensitive controller. Remember, these little guys had motion-sensing capabilities? Nobody ever used that. The original Call of Duty 3 that they had on the um, yeah PlayStation 3 here. It's kind of funny because they always did like weird little gimmicks like, oh, in this quick time event you have to switch the controller. You gotta tilt it really, really fast. So it was always kind of funny how gimmicky that was. So hopefully the touch screen won't be quite as bad. But just look at this. Oh, the only thing I noticed it's a little bit longer. Can't really fault it for that, but we'll do a nice little comparison to see how this looks compared to the older systems here. So, here we go. And I wonder if I'll be keeping this box around the same way I kept the PlayStation 3 around. Let's see. Da, da, da. So. It's a tightly configured box, just really got your controller here. Look at that. If you look closer at some of these little, the PlayStation controller, it actually has triggers now, so it's a lot easier to hold on to. It's actually a really nice feeling controller. It feels a lot more natural. So, I mean, we have. PlayStation controller right here. The joysticks are a little bit smaller as you can see. And but it's pretty much the same controller except the um of course you know you have the motion sensing start pad, but then you have the share and options button, which instead of start and select, but you still have the PlayStation Orb. And so let's see, there seems to be an extension spot here, and you also have a headphone spot for Looks like the headphone style that they have for the 360 controller. I guess they did a little bit of watching themselves to see what the competition was doing, so it's good that they're upgrading to see what the strengths and weaknesses are. So, it's weird because the the dial pad still runs off the same, like all the buttons are connected here for, because when you open up a controller, all the buttons are actually just in one little circle piece. And so it's weird because you'll see the um, all these things move as you move along here. So, let's take this out. We got our instruction booklet that not quite as big as the Bible that came with the last system. So what do we get with our system? So you actually do get HDMI cords this time. We have finally come as a society where we can get HDMI cords in everything. Isn't that wonderful? And looks like they have one little mini. Huh. So your headset is a one piece. It's got one headphone. You clip it on here. Why can't you just have two earphones? That's like. Are you really going that much more expensive or anything? So I mean, I understand that we all have this talk function now, but it's like, I'd understand if this came into an iPhone, but why would this come into a freaking PlayStation 4? I guess to make you buy the better headsets, but as long as my Turtle Beach still works, I'm cool. So I know there's strange facets such as you can't use external hard drives to begin with right now, but the cool thing is you can actually use laptop hard drives like you could with the PlayStation 3. Oh goodness. So, and just like before, I mean you have your 
You get the micro USB controller, or I mean the micro USB cord here that uses for the controller. But it's kind of strange because these controllers never ever ship with a cord. I don't understand why that is. I mean, wouldn't you want to charge more than one at one time if you have to? The problem is, unless you play sports games, you don't really have any two-player games at this point. So I mean, probably racing, maybe basketball and football and stuff. But like, if you do shooters, you can't do split screen. I mean. They make these things in HD now, but why can't you do split screen? Like, you know, GoldenEye did it on the 64, so... I don't know, just strange things that always bug me. And the cord now is actually not like the giant, um... power cord that they used to have on the PlayStation 3. You now have what looks like a laptop cord here, which is funny because a lot of this stuff is like laptop components, so... Let's see what this baby looks like. Oh, it's so pretty. Although the shape is going to be kind of weird to try and figure out where to fit. So I'm not sure why all the companies are going for this half matte, half shiny finish right now. I mean, that seems to be the new craze because I know the Xbox One has that. Um, but it really is stylish. It's kind of weird though because it's like you have this little wedge. So it's like they have a giant construction line where all the PlayStations were just like kind of cut out like, you know, cheese or sausage or something. So. And yeah, it keeps the same like input dial so you don't have to worry about slots. You don't have to worry about like the tray coming out. And we have two USB ports, which is weird because on my old PlayStation 3, when that thing came out, oh. <laughs> kind of heavy now. This thing's actually really, really light too, and that was one of my favorite things about this. It's just like, it's a nice tiny system. It's a little bit bigger than like these redesigned slims and stuff that they have now. So in the old ones, you had freaking CF card readers, mini SDs, pro cards, and four USB ports. So it feels like, you know, it's gotten down some, but like, you know, I really don't remember ever using that many USB slots unless you're playing like Rock Band or something that acquired like 20 dongles. They even had to ship it with a um, multi-USB outlet because a lot of outlets just didn't have that. So, let's see. Oh. Overall, it's a really nice looking system. I mean, it's kind of weird because um, it's not as thick as the PlayStation, so I know I'm going to, as the PlayStation 3. So I know I'm going to be laying this down more than I'll be, unless I buy like $30 or $20 stand or whatever it is. But, I don't even know which way to send this thing. I think it's like that. So it's kind of funny looking back at these things, because um, what they were advertising back then, you had Lair, which is a really shitty dragon game that ended up sucking so bad. And there's Heavenly Sword. Who in the world remembers Heavenly Sword? Resistance Fall of Man. I will say I love that game. Like whenever I was first able to break glass and like see all the little cracks connect and break out little pieces, I was like, we've hit the future. This is the future. And then there's Warhawk. And then there's Genji Days of Blade. And then there's another favorite of mine, Motorstorm. So out of all these things, I only remember playing uh, Motorstorm and Resistance. And those are actually really fun games. So hopefully what they're showing off of this thing, we have um, Watch Dogs, Assassin's Creed, got that in my car, need to get it out, but really one, the only reason I picked this up on launch day was I ended up doing the reservation card because I found out the place I work at actually has a 10% discount um, for all the items and electronics, so I was able to get $40 off of this, a non to mention my team member discount, which is $40, which would take off another $40, so I ended up save, getting this thing for practically a little bit over $300. So, I'd say $300, you get $500 in space, like, it's pretty awesome. I don't really have a Vita or anything, so I'm not really sure, but actually, let's look at the back real fast. What's really strange is, um, you don't have the option for the component cables like you used to. You have an auxiliary port, which is strange. You also have a LAN thing, which is nice because a lot of things don't do that anymore. 
but um, there's a lot of everything runs off of Wi-Fi. So it's kind of cool that we've gotten so far in the future that we don't need a lot of these things. And then they've kind of realized what you don't really want inside of a PlayStation 3 or 4. So it's good Sony's learning their lessons on all these things because this thing cost me 300 something while the PlayStation 4 cost me 800. Do you know how many lawns I had to mow that summer when I was 16 when that happened? So it's kind of funny like how far you come because I was a junior in high school when the PlayStation 3 came out, so I was so excited whenever I got this thing because I went over and I had to work off some for my parents, so I had to do half bur <laughs> I had to use my birthday present and my Christmas present to get this PlayStation 4 because it was that atrociously expensive. But now I've got a job, got a life, got to do this now, so now I can go over and, you know, enjoy the future, so I hope that, you know, a lot of these games are actually worth it, so... And we'll see in time, really, what's going to happen. So I can't wait to try, you know, Watch Dogs. I got Knack. I got Assassin's Creed. And I also got Killzone and Battlefield 4. So hopefully we can get this stuff to, you know, work right. And we can enjoy some fun. So, I mean, it's fun looking at some of the... Because I love a lot of the download and indie games. So a lot of the things I'm excited for are just stuff like that. Like where you can go over and play games like Flower already. But you also have ones like Octodad which is the strangest game you'll ever play because it's like the weirdest control, but it's meant to be weird. It's about a guy who's trying to hide from the fact, or hide the fact that he's an octopus, even though it's incredibly obvious, so you end up destroying everything just trying to walk around it, and it's just the funniest thing ever. But, you know, I didn't realize that they actually had a booklet right here too. So you get $10 PlayStation Store credit. Actually, since I all admit it, I work at Target. Um, they have a buy two get one free sale, and so it was just running crazy the other night. Like everybody was buying all the PlayStation games before the thing even came out. And um, yeah, so I ended up having to buy Battlefield 4 because we we're all out of it on the PlayStation 3. But with this $10 credit, I can go over and um, get that game for the $10 upgrade and I'm good. You also get a 30 day trial of PlayStation Plus, but I bought a year card anyway. And I guess there's the stream millions of songs for free on their Music Unlimited, but I use Spotify, so I kind of hope they'll put Spotify apps and stuff. And um, I guess you can stay tuned for my next video later, where I'll explore like, you know, what does the design look like? How do we set this thing up in an Elgato graphics card? Or not a graphics card. How do we set this up on an Elgato? And it's going to be pretty cool to try and figure this out because I'm trying to make sure... I know that there is little features inside here where you can share games and everything, but I'm just not sure how that's going to work because it does 10 minute increments and I just like, you know, constantly recording and not using up the internal memory on my system. So I'd rather just go over and um, use my Elgato, so I'll try and do a video on how to set things up on the Elgato because it runs through HDMI, so hopefully it'll be a lot easier than the specialized cords that you had to use on the PlayStation 3. So hopefully this will all work out right and we can all have some fun here. And I'm really excited to see where this goes. I just can't wait to see what the next generation of systems are and I'll do an unboxing video for the Xbox One someday. I'm not sure when I'll be getting that. Because it's like, you know, I want to play with my new toys first, and because I'm a little bit cheaper, I don't want to pay the $500 right now. But I'm really excited. It's going to be fun. So, this is Witticus out, and I hope you enjoyed watching this video. So.